We um, are going to just uh, talk about this briefly about lawyers. I know the subject matter has come up quite a bit. We know what uh, Christ's viewpoint was on the lawyers when he was surrounded by them, these scribes. Uh, we have to go back uh, to kind of see where such a large or a strong group of uh, what we'll call lawyers or scribes uh, most likely originated from. And so when we look at uh, the nation of Israel, they had one of their tribes, which was called the Levites. And this Levitical priesthood were the ones who actually made sacrifice on the altar for the sins of the nation. And uh, therefore, uh, their, um, their position uh, had a meaning uh, during the time of the Israelites before Christ came uh, to prophecy. Uh, and therefore, they, uh, they basically were doing very similar as what you would see with lawyers today. They're, uh, they're basically taking in uh, money as a sacrifice uh, onto a, a, a false altar uh, that is based on the mammon god. So when you look back at the, uh, the timing of the nation of Israel when their last king, physical king, uh, was destroyed or basically executed by the Babylonians in 586, there really wasn't a need at that point for these Levite priests because uh, the people uh, at that point were not really the covenant people of God anymore. So uh, this concept about uh, the uh, Jews returning to Israel is a ridiculous concept um, for today because God's spirit left that nation. It's a spiritual uh New Jerusalem above that is spoken of in scripture where all those under the covenant of Jesus Christ um, basically are welcome uh, as his subjects. So uh, when we look at the Levites and we look at uh, the comparison of what they did, um, you can do a good read, go through the Old Testament of the Bible and you can uh, see what uh, the role was played by these Levites and what they did, but it was there to show that uh, man could never do enough sacrifice uh, for his sins, uh, relating to the fact that they were always sacrificing animals uh, on the altar for their sins. And therefore, uh, of course, that could never at all compensate for what Adam had lost. Uh, he had perfect blood, so it required perfect blood to be sacrificed without sin, or uncorrupted blood for, uh, for the basically the, uh, the will of God and the fulfillment of the cancellation of sin and death to happen. So, when we look at the uh, Bar Association and these lawyers today, uh, we have to look at the understanding of the word legal and the understanding of free grace. Now, there's nothing that can be in legal um, that could have anything to do with free grace because legal is opposite to free grace. You can check that out. We've spoken about that in Noah Webster's 1828. Um, speaks that very clearly. You'll also find that in the Oxford uh, 20 volume set. Uh, of the English language dealing with the uh, uh, dealing with that subject matter of free grace versus legal. So we don't want to confuse what's going on. We have to really know that the lawyers do not promote the discharge of, of debt or free grace, um, that it's been canceled. They continue with debt and therefore they run the monetary systems and therefore would not be pleased uh, to promote anything that would actually show that legal indebtedness is gone as according to Colossians 2 13 to 15. So they operate as de facto Levites as if the, this system continues and so they practice uh, their fictitious uh, art on the people who don't have a knowledge or a faith in God and therefore they're preying on those with lack of knowledge and therefore lack of knowledge will be the end of those who do not come to the true knowledge of God. It will actually bring them into a very precarious situation. And that's why the world right now has so embraced this legal bar association uh, everywhere. There's not a single individual that's not there running to a lawyer because they're operating in the commercial sandbox that these evil uh, false priests uh, basically practice in. So they, they practice falsehood, they practice deceit, they practice fiction, not truth, and uh, therefore their judgment is coming. And therefore, therefore their, uh, their title, the devil's advocate, 
uh, or a devil's advocate uh, for each individual lawyer practicing would make sense because they advocate basically falsehood, not truth, a lie. And that is why they promote, of course, uh, the concept of a legal surname, which means a debt or a debtor, because you need a debt or a debtor in the concept of money and in the concept of sin um, and still paying for one's sin um, based on trying to earn one's own salvation. So uh, the, the Legal Bar Association is definitely contrary to anything to do with the truth of the Bible or free grace. And it is certainly a message to the woe unto you lawyers, as uh, Jesus had said, because their time is coming and God will soon bring judgment upon them and their leader, Satan.